Oh, Lord. <clears throat> I was just talking to you. <laughs> How's it going? This doesn't really have a top and a bottom, so <clears throat> it doesn't matter. I might end up doing two on live, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna do the Luna Moth template. Luna Moth library first. <coughs> and then <clears throat> if I have time to squeeze another one in, I'll do these uh, butterflies. I haven't done them in a while. Hello. <clears throat> hello, hello. <clears throat> hey girl, hey. <laughs> hey, how's it going? <clears throat> Can you see that one? Oh, the moth? Oh, me either. I'm really excited to do the Luna Moth. Very, very excited to do that one. <clears throat> I do think I need to redesign the Luna Moth one a little bit and take some of the detail out of the mushrooms. Um, <clears throat> we'll like combine the detail just to make it easier to read. So I think I will do that, but obviously not today. <clears throat> so that lined up, uh, could have been better, but once I glitter it, you won't see it <clears throat> as easily as you see these lines. All right, and the Luna Moth. Make sure this is not going on upside down like I did yesterday. Luna? Yes, I'm starting with Luna. Um, this is vinyl um, applied underneath template tape. Um, the template tape is linked in my bio. The vinyl is linked in the supplies, um, Amazon supplies list that's linked in my bio. I use a thinner vinyl and it's a lot cheaper than like traditional vinyl that we use for our decals and stuff. Um, but it works great for this because you don't really see it anyway. You just need a base color. <clears throat> You're welcome. All right. <coughs> Alright, so <clears throat> I know some of this is going to be outlined in black I don't think I'm actually going to outline the moth itself in black I think I might outline that in like a blue purple color <clears throat> Kind of make it look more subtle But most of the rest of it will be black. I 
I'm already losing pieces. And I just started. <laughs> There's a lot of detail <clears throat> in these little mushrooms, so let's see how well they do. Am I losing a leaf? Yeah. I saved it. Looks like I did lose one leaf in the end. <clears throat> that guy. Do you know where a smaller one of these is? Like a, about like half of this? Mm, they don't have them in the machines? No. I used the same machine the last time. Look in um, the dresser in the back. This? Yeah, the first long drawer. <clears throat> Look on the right side of that drawer. <clears throat> there should be a few brushes in there. If it's roughed up a bit, does that mean I use too much pressure? Um, not necessarily. It could be the vinyl itself, or the vinyl itself, the template tape. Um, so I used to get some tape off Amazon that was just cat scratch tape and the top layer of it was a lot thinner than what I'm using here and my pieces the detailed pieces used to fly off like that so I'm wondering if maybe that's um, that's what's going on are they detailed pieces like the finely cut pieces that are flying up like that removable vinyl? No, I'm using um, the template tape that's in my vial. I am putting vinyl underneath it, but it's just standard vinyl. I don't believe it's removable. decided if I'm going to do these details in black or not. Maybe I should figure it out. That could be uh, the detailed ones. Only get it from Amazon. That's okay. <clears throat> um, see, when I used the Amazon one, I used the washi setting. Um, I used washi and more pressure. But I think that's what you said you started with. <laughs> Still giving you issues. Trying to be careful and not lose any leaves. Once I get past these mushrooms, I can fly weeding this thing. Trying to make sure I keep all my leaves. <clears throat> the little outline lines on these circles too because I don't really think they're necessary. So if you guys have this template you might get an update for me on this template too. <clears throat> I use default pressure and then less pressure. Try more. Yeah. You know what you could do? You could check um <laughs> that was cute. 
looks like the mushroom in little bubbles. <clears throat> you could um, crop out the portion of the template that you're having problems with and print just a small section of that um, to test the setting with. <clears throat> I ain't short. Well, compared to you, I'm short. I'll take it. it works for you. <clears throat> I know sometimes the detailed um, designs are hard to cut. It took me a while to figure them out too. I think I am going to do the archway designs in black. <clears throat> I wasn't sure, but I think I will. <coughs> it's awesome that you share all of your wisdom. I try. My wisdom isn't always, isn't always helpful. <laughs> Sticking to things. <clears throat> um, these moons. I want to wait on cutting these moons. Um, there are moons in here, but I don't think I want them black. I already love the vibe of this template. Um, we're actually going. <clears throat> we're gonna use this color palette right here with these blues and greens. So we've got a couple in here. This is going to be the main color of the bookshelf. Um, but the rest of it's going to be pretty, like, earthy and muted. What did I say? Yeah. Whole bag? Huh? Whole bag. Do we do the whole bag? I mean, eventually we're going to have to do the whole bag. But what's important right now is, like, it's 60 of each color. Because they have to be shipped out. <clears throat> There's no guarantees here. <coughs> I have labels. Well, I, got, I printed out all the new ones. You don't have all the new ones in. <coughs> Just yet. But this is the stop, top stack is the whatever labels. Um, I am trying to find a comment. Hold on. Sorry. This place here. Yes, I used the vinyl setting for mine. Um, but play with it because it might, it will vary depending on um, your blade when the last time you changed it was. If you're working with a fresh blade in my tape, um, I recommend vinyl setting, yeah. <clears throat> it is warm in here. I know. I was I just afraid. Turned, I turned the AC down just now because it's kind of warm out there. It's hot as heck outside. I was afraid to turn the fan on. Some glitter's going to go flying. Are <clears throat> you in here? Oh, in here, yeah. I don't know how you do it. Well. You need a foot fan. A foot fan. <laughs> I love these colors. Thank you. So what I was saying, the stack here on top is one. Well, I'm not gonna put the little stickers on. You know, somebody can do that. Well, not all of those are yours. <clears throat> um, you don't even know what colors are which, though. Nope. But these all go with the three that you're working with. I won't be putting labels on them right away. That's fine. Can you put that back over there. <clears throat> if I at least have these labels separated, I can figure it out eventually. Goodbye. <coughs> Oh, 
right. <coughs> My husband is trying to get some new colors packed up for me. <clears throat> they won't be released until the end of next month, though, because they are for the February subscription box. I'm going to ship them out to Fran today. Um, well, tomorrow, so she can get them packed up. <clears throat> Do you sell completed tumblers or just supplies? I sell both. Um, my supplies are on coltglitter.com. My um, completed cups are on coltglittertumblers.com. I missed uh Oh, I actually missed more than I thought. <laughs> the little line right here is supposed to peel off. I did some work on the Tumblr website recently, but I need to do a little bit more work on it. <clears throat> there are some changes that I want to make. Didn't realize there was another site, so excited to go look. Oh yeah. I have it listed on the supply website. It's just custom tumblers. There's a link to it at the top. <coughs> but it's easily overlooked. It's just chilling. Um, This is what we've got at the moment. Missed it, my bad. Oh, you're good. <laughs> Honestly, I would probably overlook it too, but I want it to be a little inconspicuous because I don't really want, <coughs> um, selling tumblers isn't the focus of the supply website. So I don't really want to push it on that website, but it's just there hiding. So this, can y'all see that? There you go. The Luna Moth in the moon phases. <clears throat> it's in there. I do have two more tumblers that I need to post um, that I just finished today that need to go on that website. Thank you guys for the likes, for the follows. love the moth inside the window the moth um was a request from somebody who wanted a tumbler for me <clears throat> and they wanted a moth inside of it and it was actually perfect because i was working on a template and I, I couldn't figure out what was missing until she gave me her request of what she wanted i'm like you know what that is perfect <laughs> so hopefully I'll see some more of these. Um, I gotta figure out what color is going in the back of the bookshelf. I know this is gonna be a green. <coughs> the handheld vacuum? Oh yes, lifesaver. The vacuum is linked in my bio under the Amazon, Amazon supply list. <coughs> huge, huge lifesaver. The new green? No, not the new green. Um, I mean, it is a new green, but not the new new one. This one is, I don't know what it is about this green specifically. It hits me the same way that teal does. It just has something special about the color. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love it. <coughs> So 
So we get little sparkles around the mushrooms. The new green for the background. Yeah, I'm not doing that one on this one, but it would look nice. I do want to incorporate that green into here. So I think it would go with the, the whole vibe. I don't know if it fit with the color palette that she wanted, so. <clears throat> but she did want this green for her background, so. I'm gonna use it. I definitely need to edit this template. <coughs> and get these tiny little details out of here, because there's no point in having this in there. Some of them, yes. All of them, no. <clears throat> I thought it was the white one in the pile. Oh, no, I have a couple light ones over here, though, um, that I'm working with. I should incorporate it though, because <clears throat> it would match perfectly with the rest of them. Maybe even the blue <clears throat> sea glass would go well in there too. annoying. <clears throat> you guys don't want to weed this shit any more than I do. I gotta like, cut out these tiny little pieces. <clears throat> Make them weed in one piece or something. Make it easier. Alright. I think we good there. I'm gonna do this the same color. Should I? No, I'm not. I'm gonna go deeper. No, I'm not. Fuck it. I'll be the same color. <laughs> <clears throat> the other dark one I was gonna use, um, it might be too close to black for it to stand out, so I'll stick with my original fan. <clears throat> This one, when I went to grab this, I didn't realize that I didn't have one for myself. So I had to grab myself <laughs> one of these. <clears throat> this is so pretty. The color is like so magical, I love it. Um, my 90s kid, I was born in 86, so I lived in the 90s. Uh, that's how I feel too, because I was born in 87. <laughs> Like, I grew up in the 90s, so I identify as a 90s kid. But my OCD kind of makes me question it. It's like, but are you really a 90s kid? <laughs> Nobody else has to know. We can be 90s. Thank you, ma'am. <clears throat> 89. See, we can all be 90s kids. Why not?
<laughs> it makes sense. Clearly, I'm over here still thinking about it. <clears throat> to be a 90s kid, it kind of implies that you had to have been a kid in the 90s. And if you're born in late 80s, obviously we were a kid in the 90s, so own it. <laughs> we 90s kids. I give us permission to be 90s kids. <laughs> Um, which one is that? Oh, this is Elemental Nature. And that one, if you want to screenshot it. It's just a beautiful green. It's just, I don't know, it's got something. I don't know if it's like a hint of a different color. Something about it is just like a magical green. I don't know. It's very pretty. Born in 86. Yeah. Because <clears throat> the years that you remember as a kid were in the 90s. So, I mean, it makes sense. To me, anyway. I'm sure somebody out there disagrees with me. That's fine. <laughs> they can be an 80s kid if they want to be. ship to the UK um supplies yes tumblers um I don't think I have tumblers set up to ship outside of the US but I can <clears throat> I can add that I haven't had a reason to so I haven't done it yet but I can You know, one thing too I think about the whole 80s 90s thing is the type of toys that you had um, growing up as a kid <coughs> pick your address let me see if I can add it real quick <clears throat> because we didn't have much growing up so me of course being born in the late 80s most of my toys were still 80s related so when you're looking at 80s and 90s things and you're seeing that a lot of the memories you have involves like stuff that was popular in the 80s it really makes you question was I an 80s baby or a 90s baby? <laughs> Sometimes the answer is just, we just didn't have a lot of shit. <laughs> <clears throat> so I think that makes it more confusing too. You guys remember Tinker Toys? Ooh, that was my shit. I love some Tinker Toys. I love the smell when you opened up the thing, like the cardboard container, the little plastic ones they have. <clears throat> um, shipping. <coughs> by the bell fresh prince yes 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 fresh prince one of our kittens we named uncle phil <laughs> i love it it's awesome <coughs> Okay, so <clears throat> it gave me a category. I have one for US and one for rest of the world. So <laughs> hopefully that will let you um, choose an address. <clears throat> I was born a boomer, but only four when I changed to Gen X. So I consider myself a Gen X. <clears throat> yeah, so I think it should be like, not necessarily when you were born, but what you identify with. I think we can be whatever we want to be. Okay. <clears throat> the green and black. Yes, it is so pretty. There's something about this green, man. I don't know. I really like it. 
Bumblebee and Jazz and Transformers all. <laughs> we have one of our kittens are named Hatchet Man. Um, from ICP. Because <laughs> he has like <clears throat> on his head, he's he's white primarily with black spots, but on his head he's got two black spots side by side and like a thin little line of white. It looks like he was like karate chopped in the head. <laughs> so we call him Hatchet Man. And then Uncle Phil. And those are our two boys. <coughs> kind of debating whether or not she'd go whole bottom green. I think I am. I don't want to pull too much attention <coughs> away from the focal point of this. And I feel like I will if I do this a different color. We have two girls um, named Lucy and Ethel and our last girl because she follows follows us around the house. Um, she's um, Shadow. <coughs> <clears throat> Darla, <laughs> yeah. We went with a lot of names for him. Like, first, because we have one cat named Katana for the same reason. She's got, like, what looks like a cut mark on her head <clears throat> between the white and the black on her forehead. So we named her Katana. And um, when Hatchet Man, <clears throat> when we started seeing his colors, originally we named him Tonto. Because it's like the shorter version of a katana. But then we end up changing it to something else. And then eventually hatchet man. <clears throat> um, why did my screen thing stop? have my phone screen sharing to my iPad but the app kind of glitched out so I quit. <clears throat> I had to fix it so I can actually see your comments. Okay so up here um I don't know if I can pronounce that. Circaline? Circaline? I'm sure I'm ruining it. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> Colors coming on the back of these shelves. <coughs> Do you want to go light on the shelves? I'll do sea glass. Or should I do this one? <laughs> Cirque Linny? I feel like I'm ruining it. I feel like I'm hopeless. I don't think I'm gonna get it. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna get it. <clears throat> the green? I was kinda thinking about green too. No. <laughs> I didn't think so. <laughs> <coughs> we'll do green. We'll keep it the green vibe. An old Danish name. Next time I catch you live, I'm gonna make you pronounce it for me. <laughs> Watch me still ruin it. Lighter? Of course you would want lighter. Kelsey over here is a queen of the pastels. The pastel queen. <clears throat> the tapping noise? Oh, it's my turners. I've got five cups turning. I just epoxied them before I uh, hopped on here. Kelsey, when I was shop shopping for um, shipping boxes, I found a pastel shipping box. It was really pretty. I was like, ah, Kelsey would like this. I was going to send it to you, but 
<coughs> you haven't been um, live doing your fifth thing, so I didn't need to get your ass back on your lives. <laughs> Don't show me. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't even save it. I behaved myself. I behaved myself for your benefit. <laughs> Maybe I should have showed you. Maybe it would have been motivation. It's hard to get going again once you stop. Like, <clears throat> especially after the holidays, there's so many people. <clears throat> Most of the people I was speaking with were just like, it's really hard to get going again. Me too. I buy anything Brian hits my new shoes. <laughs> yeah, but those shoes aren't pastel. <laughs> All right, this is the new one that was released yesterday. Um, this is available in a bundle now with the other three or the other two, but it's so pretty. <clears throat> There's a video of on my profile too. <coughs> this is the Luna Moth Library. This was released um, last week, the end of last week. Oh y'all, the screen is fucking beautiful. I haven't used it on anything yet. It is so pretty. I love it. Sucker. I'm a sucker for the screen. It is so freaking gorgeous. Wow, oh, I have to use this on like everything. <clears throat> I don't even like pastels, Kelsey. You're winning over here. I'm still scrolling over the first screen. <laughs> is that the new green you posted yesterday? Yes, that's what this is. Oh my gosh, I am in love. Holy shit, it's like sparkling so many different colors. <clears throat> Look at that. Oh my gosh, it just gives life to this thing. Like, wow. <clears throat> What's your favorite color to work with? Oh man, it's really hard to say because sometimes I use a color that I haven't used in a while and it kind of like reawakens my love for it. Like I forgot how beautiful it was. And considering I have so many, <laughs> Kelsey, black. <laughs> yeah, considering I have so many, it's really hard because I don't use all of them often. <clears throat> I don't know. But yeah, I guess I, I might have to say black because I use black on almost everything I do. <laughs> I almost said not black. <laughs> um, man, I don't know. I can't. I can't pick one. Like you have to give me a category. Like pick a bundle or pick a like an iridescent, or metallic, or like a color. I don't know. I don't think I can pick just one out of the whole damn thing. <laughs> <clears throat> I really like um, Molder, it's both Scully and Molder, I really like, and I want to do them in a mold, and I haven't had the opportunity yet. <clears throat> oh, but this is that green that I just used. Your favorite teal? Heart of the Sea. Hands down, Heart of the Sea. Oh, wait, maybe not. Maybe Virginia Creeper. I'm gonna have to go Virginia Creeper on that one. Virginia Creeper is an iridescent. Um, so it'd be my favorite iridescent teal. <laughs> and Heart of the Sea would be my favorite metallic teal. If I had to go global, I'd go Virginia Creeper. <clears throat> you ever think about how your Wednesday, and I mean, oh my gosh. <laughs> You're right though. <laughs> you are so right. <clears throat> Making your room dividing it by three. I'll call a wall you think to display your glitter. Um, black. <laughs> You're gonna be like, I'm not painting my walls black. I painted my walls black. <laughs> <clears throat> because for real, like the glitter pops. 
your colors. You can see your colors very well against black. It doesn't like skew your perception of them. <clears throat> um, but I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I would say black or white. <clears throat> if you want to see the colors the best without skewing your perception of the color, black or white. Something that would just be badass, black. Something that's not black, burgundy. <laughs> <clears throat> Peppercorn by Kelsey. I knew you would say black. Of course. It's my job. <laughs> At this point, I mean, it might as well be. <laughs> a burgundy. My wall in my bedroom is teal. <clears throat> it's actually about that level. Teal. But dark, dark teal. Teal's really pretty, too. Okay. <coughs> what am I doing with my mushrooms? I am... go let me do the leaves first so I know what I'm doing with that I'm gonna do the leaves by the mushrooms forgotten by you painting the floor black oh here you go <clears throat> my heart needs them red no when I drink any reds <coughs> you can cut this template and jump on live and do them red Or would that interfere with your upcoming slumber? <laughs> Do my eight million dollars of glitter in my cart. <laughs> my husband's in there packing some more. But those won't be released until the end of February or beginning of March, one of the two. Is your face on the cup vinyl? Um, <clears throat> yes, the main material that I'm using is the template tape, which is a big sheet of double-sided adhesive, and it's clear, but underneath it, I apply white vinyl. Um, I actually prefer black vinyl, but I can't use that for this cup. And that's just so I don't have to paint my tumbler. <clears throat> it just gives me a white background. So there is vinyl there, but that's not what it's sticking to. It's sticking to the template tape. at the beginning um there is <clears throat> i think it's called a template tumbler how-to guide i'm not sure exactly what i titled it um but there is a tutorial linked in my bio that goes over the whole process from start to finish all the way from cutting your template to epoxying your cup <clears throat> you're welcome YouTube? Oh yeah, there's tons of shit on YouTube. Um, <coughs> and on the website, on cultglitter.com, there's a video section now. So um, I'll go back and I'll download my lives and I'll post them to that video section, the full live, so you can rewatch it if you want to. And then it also links all the supplies there too. I need to catch up the last couple lives um, I haven't put on there yet. I was going to do it yesterday, but I got caught up in some other stuff. <coughs> Which I need to text my husband, actually. See if he can get the truck towed to the mechanic today.
<clears throat> you say you're a juggalo? No, I just named my cat Hatchet Man. One of the kittens. <clears throat> The name kind of stuck out to me for some reason, and then my husband's like, oh, it's ICP, which is funny because that specific cat is going to his boss at work, um, <clears throat> who likes ICP, so I thought it was funny. We're stuck today because of the weather, Oh, <clears throat> Is it like storming? son has the hatchet man tattoo. <laughs> That's awesome. <clears throat> I don't know that I know, like, I'm sure if I heard some of their popular songs, I would recognize them. But, um, I don't know, I was never really into specific bands. I just appreciated specific music. It's very rare that certain songs I would, um, or certain artists I would just kind of <clears throat> get addicted to. Some of them I did, but not often. Snow Ice. Oh, shit. Some, some of that of Florida, man. It's kind of hot today. <laughs> Mama? Um, maybe. I'd have to look it up. A lot of times, reading it, like right now reading it, I'm like, no, I don't know what that is. But hearing it, you're probably right. I probably do recognize it. <clears throat> okay, we're going to do... I'm overthinking things. Let me just do what I know and I'll do what I don't know later. <clears throat> Best month to go to Florida? Um, to Disney? <sighs> when school is in. <laughs> Sometime when school is in will help you or going on a weekday will definitely help you. Um, <clears throat> Weather-wise, sometime between like August and... Well, even August can be hot sometimes. I would say between October and, like, February would be best in terms of weather. Since some um, heat to melt the roads, we have a new list thing. We have to get a lockbox on. Oh, <clears throat> yeah. I wish I could send you some heat, man. You can have it. You can have all of it. <laughs> all of it, all of it, all of it. I think I'm going to use sea glass on the mushroom tops. There's mushrooms on there. Hey, Amanda. <laughs> yes, there are little mushrooms on there. Do you have monies? How much is it going to cost? I have no idea. I mean, yeah. They don't tell me until you, they get here. Oh, well, yeah. you got to grab one of my cards. I think it's in the basket in the living room. <coughs> oh, that's not sticking. Did I pull this one? Ha, huh? no, that's why it's not sticking. Dumbass. <laughs> Like, why isn't that thing on there? <clears throat> so download it with you and wait and buy the pass. Yeah, whoa. Throw in fucking glitter. The pass is definitely helpful because I have plans. <clears throat> I have plans to expand the digitals. Um, I just need time. Um, <coughs> I don't know which one. Any of them, I think. Pick a random one. I mean, at this point, you probably can. Um, what about that one? <clears throat> uh, what? What? I need to 
pin number. You know it. <coughs> such small country is so odd to hear that you have. You all have such different weather. I never thought about that before. <coughs> I'm just going to take out like 60, okay? <coughs> okay. Just letting you know. <clears throat> like one state has snow, another has sun and heat. Yes. <laughs> but I don't know. Um, uh, Debbie, I don't remember what state you're in. I should, because I just packed your order this morning. <clears throat> Even just from like me to Kelsey, which is probably, I don't know, eight or ten hours. Yeah, she'll get snow? Was it flurries or something, Kelsey, if you're still in here? <clears throat> Couple hours north of me. I don't know nothing about the cold though, because <coughs> it's all hot down here. <coughs> it gets cold sometimes. We actually had the 30s a couple times this year. But even South Florida, South Florida doesn't really hit the 30s. <coughs> but North Florida does, and that's like four hours. It's not that much of a difference. <coughs> um, let me go hard of the sea is going to be too much. What color do I want to do this? I want to go dark here and light here. <clears throat> I think I might do this one the same color as the top. Six to seven hours. Five million people. <laughs> <coughs> I feel like that would be nice though. Cause just in Jacksonville, which is next to me, um, there's like a million people just in Jacksonville by itself. So I can only imagine <coughs> Denmark. So Florida in general probably has I mean, it's got to, especially Orlando. I feel like that would be so nice, though. <clears throat> snow on Wednesday. You getting some snow? Are you happy about it? <laughs> Oh, pouring your mold. I haven't caught you live in a while. <clears throat> I haven't caught you or Marie live. <clears throat> oh yeah, I caught Marie live not too long ago. I just want one big snow and that's it. <clears throat> well, maybe you'll get big snow Wednesday. Missouri, that's right. <clears throat> I remember that now that you say it. I want to put purple on this cup so bad, but she wanted greens and blues. <clears throat> Let me double check. <coughs> New library? Yes. This is the Luna Moth library. I should know by now. <coughs> I should. <coughs> I 
deep purple. I want to put a purple on it, but I need to make sure um, <clears throat> that's what she wants. color stuff <clears throat> light greens blues maybe deep purple for the bookshelf <clears throat> and then we switch the bookshelf to the green so I feel like I can put a hint of purple in here but I don't want to do overwhelming amounts of purple in here so I think the purple would be cool and then we accent it <coughs> in the books a little bit. <clears throat> this one, yes, this one is on the website. <coughs> Something that's not intrusive though. There's so much tiny stuff. I think when I end this, I'm going to do the whole bottom of the mushroom. <clears throat> this whole piece is going to be one whole piece. The outlines on these circles are going to be gone. These details back here are going to be simplified. I forgot to color the background right there. Everything else seems to be fine. Just as mushrooms <clears throat> have all these tiny details in them, I need to make that go away. The wizard library, the fall library, yeah. Um, I haven't done the fall one. I have done the lizard one, the lizard one, the wizard one once, and I forgot to take a photo of it. Um, but it was all rainbowed. <clears throat> all the, the pictures on the wall were all rainbowed. The books were all rainbowed. 
It wasn't traditional color scheme. Um, but if you look at the Phoenix version of the library that I have on my profile, um, that color scheme would probably look really cool with the wizard one. I need purple for this. <clears throat> oh, you're welcome. Where's my light? Conjure? Let's go with Conjure. Still got one in there. The under the sea one. I have yet to do that one. <clears throat> I need to do that one. I need to fix this background because it's driving me nuts. Did I forget it twice? No, just once. I want to release the under the sea too without, um, <clears throat> without everything in the archway so you can kind of customize it put your own stuff in there if you want to I was going to make it like a bundle with and without the insert in it um, <clears throat> and just keep it listed at the same price but I haven't done it yet Okay, so a little sparkly things. I'm gonna leave for now. good thank you much you're amazing <laughs> thank you i love the design in the archway oh for the under sea one <clears throat> what are you doing in the archway of this one um it has a luna moth in it and some crescent moons so um i'm gonna wait to do that last because i don't think i want to outline the moth in black i think i want to outline it in something more subtle so it doesn't look so harsh. I want it to kind of look soft. <clears throat> so I'm going to hold off on the outline until I get a feel of the rest of the cup and then I'll do it. So for now, I'm going to go in with the books because I have a bunch of really cool colors going in here. <clears throat> what is the best way to do this and not make you guys freaking dizzy. Okay. <laughs> there we go. <coughs> I guess that'll work. Yeah. Let me go with the less is more approach. Let me not use all of these colors. think so. <coughs> I haven't done it yet. So um, I'm excited to see how it turns out. 
but I can't imagine it going bad because I mean the moth itself is just so pretty. I have a very soft purple that I might put in the book. Actually, I think I might use it for the background of this. <clears throat> and maybe not put it in the books. <clears throat> it's so soft that it's gonna just look like a white iridescent almost. It'll just have a very muted color. That way it'll bring in the purple from the mushrooms, but it won't be overwhelmingly purple. She primarily wanted greens and blues. <clears throat> um, the books do color random, but do you have a method? For this one, I'm going random. <laughs> For the galaxy, um, I count them because they're rainbow. <clears throat> so I need to make sure I pull every six. But for this, I'm just pulling whatever I want. It goes much quicker that way. <laughs> Iridescent purple. Hell yeah. <coughs> I gotta <coughs> need my mints. <clears throat> so I can cough and not go away. Okay, you are oh okay. <clears throat> I didn't realize that was you. Hi. <laughs> um this one is the iridescent purple I was thinking of using, but it's so light when I put it on, it's gonna be very, very faint. Like, you're really not going to see it very much. You only see it when it's piled up. Since it's only going to be one coat, it'll give you a very subtle hint of color. figure out where I left off. Okay. All right. So we got a couple, a couple books pulled. Um, I need to introduce the teals. Let me put herbology in here. <clears throat> Cause that way it will give me a variation in texture and get that teal in here off the bat. And I can build off of that. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, this phone cord is to go over there. All right. <clears throat> Trust your judgment with the color. I'm sure once the books are done, it will be obvious. I hope so. I'm sure it will be. 
I'm sure it will be. So this is Robology. This one's like a matte pearlescent glitter. So I'm going to go in with this one first. <clears throat> to get a color profile going. And then get a difference in texture since everything else so far is metallic and iridescent. <clears throat> and then we can build off of this color palette. It is so pretty. These greens, man. I'm feeling it. I have all this glitter all over my hands. <laughs> totally feeling these greens. Eighty-seven minutes. Okay. I do want something a little darker in there too to kind of complement the dark green bookshelf. Um, maybe this guy. <clears throat> uh, that machine. Oh, it's a desktop vacuum. Um, it's linked in my bio, the supply slash Amazon link. I have it linked in there. They're very useful. I have like three of them. <laughs> Let me figure out what I want to do. You're welcome. This camera angle is very weird. That feels better. Um... This will aid in the purple a little bit because it's like a blue purple. And these are all darker. Do I want to go all darker? I kind of want to have one like, iridescent color in there. I also don't want to have too many colors in there. <clears throat> I feel like I should squeeze this one in there. Maybe not. Maybe not the purple. <clears throat> Maybe intention. In exchange for that one. I don't know. The green iridescent? I'm going to figure out the other ones without making it too overwhelming. See, these just go together so well. But then I'm worried when I do the moth that, like, I'm going to want a little bit of something more contrasting in there. But I really like this vibe. <laughs> I think this vibe looks nice. Maybe I'll leave it with those. I can always change it. For now, trust the process. <clears throat> I'm gonna throw this one in there first and then see what happens. Purple for the background, the moth if needed. Yeah. <clears throat> I could. I have a plan. I need to pull up a photo of the moth, but um, I have a plan to ombre the moth. Um, and I also wanna make sure that the colors I'm using aren't gonna make this look too chaotic I want it to be very clean and smooth in here so i'm trying to picture that in my head too 
I have a tendency of overthinking though, so I mean, there's that. <laughs> essence right here so they're less, less invasive I can put them together and not have it be too overwhelming I'm excited to see how this comes out. <clears throat> I'm really excited to get to the moth. I cannot wait to get to the moth. When I start running out of books, that's when I overthink the most. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, so I still have to put this color here, this color here. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna throw our iridescent green in there. I think I'm gonna try and burnish this in a little bit. Well, no, I'm not. If I burnish it in, I'm gonna have less color. I'm not gonna burnish it in. <clears throat> it's going to be very muted, but I think that's part of the beauty of this color. This was very, very sparkly though. since it came out of the library yes um <clears throat> i'll sit there and read a whole ass book in like one sitting i don't care if it takes me all day i will do it <laughs> but i haven't done that because i just i don't have time lately so i haven't done it in a while but i am very much a person to do that go to bed with the light so I can read it in bed. <laughs> Download it on Kindle even though I already bought the book. <clears throat> Favorite genre? Um, lately it's been mental health books. My favorite would have to be um, one called The Untethered Soul. Is that what it is? The Untethered Soul by Michael, Michael something, damn it. I probably read it like two years ago, but like I'm obsessed with that book and I keep going into finding other like mental health related books, but I really enjoy them. That iridescent is just so pretty.
Michael A. something. Damn it, I don't remember his name. <laughs> I got other books in that series um it was like a a guide some kind of like journal guide or something that i bought but i haven't finished it <clears throat> it's like questions to ask yourself chapter by chapter it's kind of cool i only did a few chapters on it and then we ended up moving here and i haven't picked it up since i moved <clears throat> Okay, I used those. So I used these. I used that. I'm not sure if I'm using these. I think the goal is these two. end up using this one i don't need that one anymore i just treated myself with five bucks this weekend because my business is probably making a profit oh there you go <clears throat> that's the way to do it there was another mental health book um it was called unfuck yourself and i forgot the, <laughs> the author it was another mental health thing like you're better than you think you are don't let people tear you down kind of thing but it was a really really good book my son read it too. <clears throat> How do you get the seams to line up on these templates? Um, carefully. <laughs> I actually, um, when I apply my template, I keep the backing on it. I cut a strip of it off and then stick it right back on the template. And then I apply it to my cup um, and line up the seams. And then I just peel that one side back and remove it and stick it. And that way it's already locked down in the right position. So from there I can just let the cup go and put the rest of it on there but i do have a video on that in my um on my profile I just posted it recently i think there's two videos actually they're both in the tips and tutorials or tutorials and something library folder thing i don't know how tiktok does it <laughs> but it's in there <laughs> Playlists, playlists, playlists. Um, no, I kind of want to stick with the simplicity of all the colors like going together. I'm gonna do this one and see how I feel. Then I get to do the mod <clears throat> after I figure this out. <laughs> four times can't get the shelves to line up it's not just you i promise you it's not just you i have problems too sometimes this one even this one's slightly off like this side is a little bit lower than that side it's a little bit higher <clears throat> and i've done this template like a hundred times the libraries like over a hundred times <clears throat> it's not just you i promise
a tow truck coming to tow my truck to the mechanic and my dogs are barking so i'm wondering if they are here they are not here okay cool <clears throat> <clears throat> Put this teal on here. Ooh, wait a minute. Maybe you want to use the other teal. Marie got me thinking earlier. <laughs> oh shit, let me drop a bunch of glitter all over my table. Um, <clears throat> about this other teal of mine that I absolutely love. Maybe I should use that. Where did those glitters go that fell? Hmm. I think there's another one. I don't know where it went. On the floor? I don't know. I'm gonna push my shit everywhere. Oh, there it is. Oh, that would have been a pretty green to use too. Maybe I can use it on a moth. This one's gorgeous. So this one, this one's closer color scheme wise, but this one would make such an impact. It's very bold. What if I did these two and not either one of these? Took both of these out of it. Let me look up this moth real quick. Let's see what colors I'm going to use on it. I do want to use um, one of those colors on the actual <coughs> on the books. greens well I don't think I really need either of these then maybe this one <clears throat> let's throw that on there and see what happens This one is beautiful, and I feel like I'm just teasing you with it because it's out of stock right now until the new shipment gets here. <laughs> but it is beyond beautiful.
that's oh it's the other one that's why it looks funny okay color is next needs to be an in-between color for this and these other greens. <coughs> First time I posted the cup, it got banned for inappropriate content. <coughs> what? The, li the library? Which one did you just post? Oh, the mushrooms. The mushrooms got banned? <laughs> Last color on the books. <coughs> I don't really want to throw green in there. I kind of don't. So I can do this, which would be a great in between color. <coughs> I think it was because I had 18 plus. I did appeal it in one though. Oh, well, good because. They've blocked me for some shit. They stopped me from going live before. Um, <clears throat> for, ow, I stabbed myself with a pin. For um, hateful speech or harmful behavior or something like that. It's like, uh, no. <laughs> but I appealed it and they gave zero fucks and left me banned for a week. cup is like weighing on my hand <coughs> I don't really like holding them <laughs> but it's messing with my wrist
Crystal Mac, I have not, um, but I have been really curious about using it. There's another one called Hyperion that I, I purchased with the intention of trying it, but um, that's when everything kind of went viral and I just got, I didn't want to try a new product and I had that many <coughs> cups going. But I do want to try it. I'm going in with one of my favorite deals for the last couple books before we start on the month. It's like it was tricking me, it didn't want to come out. <laughs> had it every time I finish a cup of <coughs> all the work I'm afraid to try it well you gotta try it sometime you know you don't have to try it on a cup um what I used to do is get <coughs> like wine glasses or whatever glass bullshit you can get at the dollar store um it's not bullshit it's whatever but <coughs> the smaller pieces and just glitter it and experiment on that like even if it's a solid glitter base that way you don't feel like you're losing so much. Or even Walmart, I've got like a ton of glass wine glasses I got from Walmart um, that I experiment with on. <clears throat> this is upside down for you guys. <laughs> I really like this. I do need to go back and do these still. <coughs> oh, this color just makes me so happy. This teal, it's beautiful. <coughs> Leaning a couple watching you. Oh, uh, see, y'all say I got patience. Mm -mm. You guys bling and shit, y'all got patience. <laughs> y'all got way more patience than I do. <coughs> Simple like the cow. Oh, there you go. That'll work. Oh, it's spilt glitter over there. <clears throat> okay, so. <clears throat> what color am I doing the moons? I kind of feel like a purple. But like, a muted, earthy purple. And then the background would be this, only it would not be as potent of a color. It would be a lot. <clears throat> It'll be transparent, so it'll be more muted. Um, and the moth. So that is the Luna Moth. So I'm thinking I won't use this burgundy. Maybe I'll outline it in this purple. The same as the moons. <clears throat> and then I'll do some shading to color in the Luna Moth with this and 
maybe a blue. I kind of want to trick the eye a little bit though. I kind of don't want to be, I kind of want it to be the outline and then a very hint of blue. I got glitter between my fingers <clears throat> with maybe this one. So outline and then this and then a very subtle hint of green, very, very small amount that fades into this to kind of tell your eye that that inside color is green, even though it's going to be really muted and it may not be obvious. <clears throat> I think I'm going to do that. Sounds like a plant. <coughs> one of my favorite colors. <clears throat> oh, which one? <coughs> I wasn't paying attention, I'm sorry. when I just moved? Eclipse? Or a manifest? <laughs> and the butterfly. Butterfly. The moth. <clears throat> This is going to be so pretty. <clears throat> that did not go as well. Alright, so we are using your favorite. <clears throat> you know, I kind of want to ombre the moons a little bit. Maybe I will. I think I will. I don't want to rub the moons in just yet. A storm cloud a little bit of blue <coughs> oh, excuse me a little bit of blue on the moons I think they came out really cool storm clouds. <laughs>
you have so many of them at this point. It's hard to believe you're not having one. <laughs> It's gonna be a lot, so I need to use all these. Use three. Let me grab me another mint. I'm not copying. With those two colors, yeah, I love these two colors together, <clears throat> and it goes really good with this green too, um, as well as Rosia, which is a pink that I think you got today, maybe. <clears throat> The new order, yeah. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure it's ship priority. It's the our mail people came and picked it up already, so it is on its way to you. The fine lines in this moth made me so happy. <laughs> it's just subtle little detail. Yes, you ordered it. Oh, the pink one? Or Storm Cloud. Probably the pink one. <clears throat> oh, it's the first office ready to be on live. Oh, that's quick. She didn't pick it up um, <clears throat> too long before that then. I think she picked up around 10, maybe. I remember I got an order, um, two orders in this morning and I packed them and ran them out there to try and beat her. And then not too long after that she came to pick up everything. I think um, I'm wondering if she dropped it off at the post office and then they picked it up to bring it <clears throat> to the next stop. Maybe that's what the scan was. I'm not sure. <clears throat> I do not know. Either way, it's good news. It's moving. I'm kind of really I'm kind of leaning out on even using the blue around the edges I was thinking about it maybe only <coughs> maybe only at the top <coughs> I have a second cough <coughs> maybe only at the top maybe not at all No, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put blue. I'm trying to envision it in my head. Mm, maybe I should keep it over here so my brush doesn't keep hitting my phone stand. is accepted. 
Oh, yeah. Well, see, our, <laughs> that's part of the problem with our mail lady. Is she doesn't scan shit when she picks it up. I don't know when she scans it. She used to. She used to come up here with her gun, her little scan gun, and she would scan shit, and then she'd bring it to her car. Now, she doesn't do that. <clears throat> she scans it at some other point during the day, but there's a lot of times that things are, they're lost because she's not scanning them. That makes me nervous. Okay. <clears throat> I have it, but I haven't shipped out yet. That makes sense. Okay, so I'm done with that. Stop rolling. I don't want anything to stick to you. probably used to work for FedEx. <laughs> Maybe, who knows? <laughs> A lot of people have um, problems with her there, apparently. Because whenever we have a different male lady, they'll ask us our experiences with her and then tell us that other people have had you know, a lot of complaints and stuff. And like, well, it's not just me. <laughs> We like wave to her and stuff like when we're outside and she comes up. She doesn't even look at us. She doesn't wave back. It's just like, really? <laughs> Hi. Thank you for taking my shit. You know, whatever. She doesn't say anything. I think that's enough green to give <clears throat> the impression that I want. I think we went a little bit more over there. <clears throat> FedEx, FedEx isn't good here too. One male lady that's awful. Yeah. Maybe there's one in every town. <laughs> Maybe that's how that works. It's like a whole utopian society inside the mail system. So there's gonna be that one. Okay. I think I might wanna do it again here. I'm scared though because <laughs> um, that back part's already pulled <clears throat> and I don't want it to get on there. I 
a little bit more than nothing. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, let me do the same thing on the other side. And then I can hopefully glitter the rest of it and it will be fine. Goals and shit. Ugh, I need to work this way. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> I think that is what I want. Now I can go in with this guy. He will not be that bright. In the end. I'll clean this off real quick. Now I don't want to burnish the screen, so I'm not going to kind of rub it in there, but I am going to press it in there, make sure I get as much color in it as possible. This one kind of gives it a green gradient. Super sparkly butterfly. Butterfly. I keep calling it a butterfly. Moth. But, true to form, I feel like I need to ombre the background. <laughs> um, I think... Hmm, maybe I should do... <clears throat> Eclipse to manifest? This one's a given. I feel like Conjure would be a little bit too much, maybe? Maybe I can do one to the other to this. Maybe I'll do that. <clears throat> Let's do that. A mica would be really pretty back there too. But I don't want to do mica on top of glitter. Because mica will get stuck in glitter, so I can't do that.
Mm, I feel like it needs a little bit more height on that side, but I don't want to go overboard. nature um this guy if you want to screenshot it <clears throat> I need to use it more often it's very pretty just need to add manifest I'm gonna push it in down here you're welcome So pretty. My dog is going crazy. Let me see if that tow truck is here yet. <coughs> I do have another tumbler that I need to do um, <clears throat> that is butterfly wings. My goal is to get back on here and do this today, but we have a tow truck here, or not here, on its way here um, to tow my truck to the shop so they can replace the fuel pump. So <clears throat> I need to get off for now, but my plan is to be back on. My desk is a mess. Look how pretty that green is. This is one of those that you need to apply over a similar color base, but beautiful. But I'm very happy with this guy. Let me um <clears throat> chunk this up a little bit. There you go. That came out super cool. I can't stop staring at this freaking moth, man. It came out really awesome. I'm happy with the moth. And I love that the whole cup has one color scheme pretty much with some purples popped in there. <clears throat> she had good taste with her color palette. These are beautiful. Thank you. I think so too. Most of my greens, which greens did I use? I have so many blues and greens in front of me. Did 
Did I? I don't think I used that one. Yeah, those are my greens. I never used this one. Then my blues, teals. Where are these guys? And then purple got involved. And that was this one. <laughs> but that is all of today's shenanigans. <clears throat> but I am going to hop off of here. Because I'm sure the truck's going to be here soon. Um, <clears throat> and then I'll get back on later so I can do that butterfly. Get the butterfly done. And then after that, I do have one more order, but I probably won't do it today. That's, um, the roses. Another, another one of the roses. It's gonna be red. Um, primarily reds. But then there's gonna be one black, one white, and one blue rose. But, that is all for now. Um, thank you guys for hanging out, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!